Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. So you guys have been wanting more bullet journal videos and I wanted to try doing some page ideas that cater toward self-care, especially around this time when people are going back to school. But even if you're not going back to school, just having a bullet journal is not only great for marking off things to do or tasks off your list, but it's also a great place to journal, which can be therapeutic and helpful to your overall well being. So, in this video, I'm going to show you some self care page ideas and prompts with a focus on balance. Before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I will be posting more bullet journal videos. So, make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos. All right, let's uh, jump into this. This first layout I'm calling for a lack of a better word, the more less spread. If you work by yourself or maybe you're a freelancer, I thought this was really helpful to do as a self review. So this spread is going to be divided into four sections and on the left, you can write what is working for the first section and just below that you can write what isn't working. And you can make this more specific in your life if you want to, if you want to make it more what is not working in your work life or your personal life, it's really whatever you want to do. And in those sections, you can write your milestones, your tasks, your events throughout the year. You can flip through your journal on the previous pages to see kind of what milestones are highlighted, uh, what worked, what didn't. And then you can flip back to this page and write those down in these sections. You can take that information and on the right side on the other page, you can write what you want to do more of based on what did work. And then on the section below that, you can write what you want to do less of based on what didn't work. After you've filled out all of these sections, the top half, the two sections on the top are the portion of what you want to move forward with in your life. So these are things that have worked for you that you want to do more of in your life. And then the bottom section, the bottom half is stuff that you kind of want to leave behind that are no longer serving you in your life. This layout is inspired by Ryder Carroll's video, which I will link down below. It's kind of like a year end review for yourself, or if you're starting a new bullet journal, it's a great way to kind of see what you want to move toward in the future. But I also did it at the end of last year as kind of like a self review. For the next page idea, I am calling this a stress grid. Depending on the stresses in your life, you can draw as many grids as you want or divide it as many times as you want on a spread or a single page. On the left column, just write everything that is stressing you out in your life. And each of those things can have a section. So it kind of helps to part mentalize compartmentalize. <laughs> That's the word I'm thinking of. I feel like putting these in a grid kind of helps to tackle them because they're not such a big problem if I can put them in their own box in their own place. Then on the right side of those, you can come up with solutions that will help lessen those stressy things in your life. This is kind of like a simple pros and cons list. But I found sometimes when you just get the things that are stressing you out onto paper and you see them in front of you, they aren't so intimidating and they're actually something you can solve because they're out of your head onto paper and you can move forward with your life. This next layout I'm calling the rewards page or the treat yourself page or spread. So typically in a bullet journal, you will write down all of the things you need to get done, all the tasks you need to complete. Sometimes I will forget to reward myself and celebrate the small victories and accomplishments. And I found that when I reward myself, even for little things, even if the reward is just taking a break, it really helps me return to the work more productive and I end up accomplishing more tasks that I need to get done. So this rewards page or spread can be a good balance to all the hard work you do. You don't want to do the same thing all the time. You can't just work, work, work without some kind of relief or break or reward. We're not machines. So this page might help with that. For this layout, you can doodle the rewards you want to give yourself or write them down. You can even make yourself a little spot to write the date down when you redeem that reward. Or if you want to make this a monthly or daily thing, you can write down 30 rewards so that every day when you accomplish stuff, you can go to your rewards page and pick which thing you want to reward yourself with but make sure you accomplish something before you give yourself a reward. That way it's even more motivation for you to accomplish the things on your list. 
Also, be realistic. You can't make every reward going to Disneyland or something crazy. These need to be realistic rewards and they can be something so simple as treating yourself to an iced coffee or going outside for a little bit, just a little break. I know these are really simple things, but sometimes we put the really little things in life off when we are working so hard. So these are just little reminders for you to take a break, enjoy the little things, give yourself some time to enjoy them, and bring some balance to the workload in your life. I hope these self-care prompts gave you some ideas for your bullet journals. And I know that everybody's self-care is different, so you can definitely adjust these or make them slightly different to fit what is going on in your life and in your bullet journal. I wanna give a shout out to my bullet journaling patrons. Thank you for supporting this video and this channel. And if you want to join us and become a patron and get rewards for supporting this channel, go check out the link down below. I will also put it right here when the end card pops up. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos. I will put that up around here. If you want more bullet journal page ideas, I have a whole playlist, go check that out right here. It includes more tracker ideas. And also if you want to see what my bullet journal is made of, the pages, all about the book that I use, check out this video right here. It's also a great beginner bullet journal video with an introduction to all about it. Go check it out right here. All of these links will be down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.